For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and today's video is all about my favorite products that can be purchased on Amazon. And I phrase it that way because a lot of Amazon is products that you can find from a lot of different places. But the appeal to buying it on Amazon is that you get it with free two-day shipping. Sometimes the prices can even be better on Amazon. And honestly, because I pay for a Prime membership, sometimes I just like paying for the convenience of it having shipped straight to my door. But lately I've been really curating my Amazon storefront, and so I thought that this could be a good video just to kind of introduce you to that. Oftentimes I'll link a lot of products from Amazon in my description box, but I've never really told you all that you could just go visit my storefront anytime and see all of my favorite products in one listing. You'll see that I have everything separated out into several different categories, things like beauty, travel, home, kitchen, books. I kind of just built a wide variety of things that I love and use all the time. So instead of sitting down and showing you absolutely every product that's within that storefront, I've picked out my top three from most every category. So let's go ahead and start with the biggest category and the list that's the longest and that's beauty. The very first item that was the easiest for me to go grab is this Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I have mine currently in the shade 21, but I've also worn 23 with success. It's just a little bit darker than this and is probably the best shade for me in the summertime. But honestly, it gives you such a sheer to medium type coverage that the color is not a huge deal. Now, of course, I don't wanna go like four shades darker than I need to, but if you're really indecisive about your shade, you can waffle between two and three of them and kind of get the same result. Now I really like this because you can apply it with your fingers. You don't have to worry about getting a brush or a sponge. I just pump one pump into my hands, spread it on my fingers, put it on my face, and I think that it really does provide decent coverage. Another thing that's really nice about it is that it has SPF 42, which is really high compared to the typical foundation that just has SPF 15 or 20. Again, I like breathable type foundations. I'm not somebody who's looking for full coverage. I like my skin to still look like skin. I just want it to look a little bit more perfected. Now, as some of you may know, on Amazon, prices tend to fluctuate a little bit. They may be trying to price match other stores, especially if they're having a sale or something, just to keep you buying on Amazon. This is always super cheap, like seven to ten dollars. But if you were to purchase this same BB cream from the Misha website, it's usually like two to three times that price, which I think is kind of crazy. I've only purchased the one off of Amazon, and that's the only one that I can speak to, but highly, highly recommend. And this is my beloved Clarisonic. I got this for Christmas about two years ago, and I'm pretty adamant about using this once or even twice a day depending on my shower situation. This is not a device that I bring with me in the shower. They say that it's water resistant but it's not completely waterproof so I really try to avoid submerging it completely in water. The device itself is a little bit pricey. I believe that this cost $169. I specifically have the Clarisonic Mia 2. They've since redesigned these. They have more ergonomic handles and they have a bunch of different designs. The Mia 2 has been really good for me. It has two different speeds. It alerts you when it needs to be charged. It alerts you when you need to change the brush heads. I played around with like two or three cheap alternatives in the past and it really never added up and I still ended up buying the real device. It does such a good job of physically exfoliating your face and removing makeup that your hands alone cannot get off. No matter what type of cleanser you're using, even sometimes when I'm just using a washcloth, it still is not getting all the makeup off. So this vibrates, it has a supersonic system and it really does a good job of cleaning out your pores which means when you first use this, sometimes your face will get worse before it gets better because it's really getting a lot of the nastiness out of your face. I have noticed an extreme difference in my skin since I've been using this. I have far less acne, far less problems on my face. So honestly, this could not be more highly recommended. So the last item from the beauty board that I'm going to feature, and you're gonna be surprised that this is not the Briogeo leave-in conditioning spray that I absolutely love. This is a newfound product to me that I honestly cannot get enough of. I curled my hair with it today and this is the Con Air. I wonder if it even has a name on here. This is a Con Air rose gold double ceramic one inch curling iron, something like that. Now I have super long hair and I've had a really hard time getting curls to stay and so I decided to start experimenting with things. My hairdresser had recommended these Con Air or even the Revlon super inexpensive curling tools. She said they work just as well. There's no need to go spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on those T3 tools that everybody thinks are amazing, which I'm sure they work fine but this is doing just as good a job and it was 16 bucks. Now it has a really skinny barrel. I went with one inch because I noticed that my hair had had a hard time holding a curl recently. And so I decided what if I get a smaller barrel, create tighter curls, and maybe it'll fall out nicely and still remain a little bit curlier. And I think that it totally does. Now today, 
is probably a bad example. I did use it today. I decided to go no products. I wanted it to be super naturally kind of wavy looking and that was the look that I was going for. So I didn't use hairspray or texture spray, but I'll insert a clip of myself curling my hair and showing you hours later what it looked like. I used this and it stayed in like the Florida humidity when I was at Disney. I was so, so impressed. Now moving on to my favorite tech products. There's not a huge variety, I'm gonna be completely honest up front, but the first thing happens to be my AirPods. And Brian did purchase these off Amazon. He actually bought the other thing I'm gonna mention off Amazon as well. I mentioned these recently in my July favorites video, so I'm gonna try not to harp on this for too long, but I was a naysayer against the AirPods for a really long time. I didn't think that they'd stay in your ears. I didn't understand how they were really all that convenient. These seriously are wonderful. For my job, I'm on the phone all the time, and these are so easy to put in, take out, it pauses your music when you remove an earbud. And I just love the functionality because I have an iPhone of how well that it works. So if I open my phone like this and then I open the AirPods next to it, You'll see that it pops up and it can actually show you the battery life of both the AirPod like holder and the actual earbuds themselves. The little holder here actually acts as a charger. You just plug this in with the same charger that you would charge your phone with. That juices this up and in this case charges your headphones every time they're sitting in the port. They hold a charge for a pretty long time. I'd say I probably charge mine once a month and I use these no fail for a couple of hours every day in the workday. Of course, your charge time will vary depending on how often you use your Yours. Again, these are another investment. Truthfully, I love them. I seriously love them. Next up, I told you, not much variety, my Bose noise canceling headphones. And these have a completely different purpose. I have mine in white and it has this little tan leather interior. And these are what I love to use when I'm traveling. It cancels out a lot of the ambient noises on planes. You know how the engines can be kind of loud, but also there might be crying babies or what have you. And these are just really good for really being able to hear your TV show or your movie that you're watching. These are something that I couldn't wear at work because I felt that it was just a little bit inappropriate to have noise canceling headphones on in the office. They're kind of big and so when people would try to be like, Maggie, Maggie I need your help with something, I wasn't really able to hear them and so I was just kind of being rude. So that's why I felt the need to have the AirPods and I'm really glad that I do. I do not travel without these. They Bluetooth with your phone so you can actually answer your phone and talk on it and everything here while they're on your head, which is the way that I use them most of the time. But on planes, if you want to take advantage of in-flight entertainment, you can also plug these in. You can see it has a little headphone jack here. It comes with the cord and the cord will plug directly into the TV in front of you. Brian and I just pop these on at the beginning of the flight and we go and it is glorious. He did a lot of research and got me these and it's something that I didn't even know that I wanted and it has been by far my favorite gift he has ever gifted me. And the last top tier tech product is one that I can't actually show you right now because I'm filming on it and that happens to be my camera. Now I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I filmed an entire video recently outlining how I film my videos, what equipment I use, how did I start filming videos and what equipment I used then. So I don't want to take too much time but I will tell you that I do have the Canon EOS M50. I think it is perfect for the hobby that I have. It's super lightweight, it's compact, it's really easy to figure out. There are about a million YouTube videos on this camera because it has been really highly rated for like YouTube use and I think that the sound quality is good the picture quality is good and the video quality is good and that's exactly what I need it for this was a huge investment for me I think that this cost me somewhere around $650 which is a lot if you are somebody who is a photographer or maybe you're just getting into the video scene or you like me are ready to take that next step I think that this is the perfect choice all right Away from tech and on to a category that some of you may think is really strange and it was books. I absolutely love books, all books, cookbooks, coffee table books, fiction books, nonfiction books. I love to read, I love to have them around. So first up is this book called Overview and the author or photographer is Benjamin Grant. Now what this is, is a coffee table book that has a bunch of aerial shots of things. Like here, those are a bunch of little boats in the water near this island. They're very interesting. So you look at the picture and then it actually has a short description about what everything is. You can learn about where it is in the world. We also follow this Instagram account and I'm saying we because one of my really good friends from work, Wade, actually gifted me this book. Long story short, 
We work on the same team at work. We had a big Christmas party for it and we played this game where everybody brought their favorite things. This was the thing that Wade brought. I almost ended up with it at the end of the night and instead I ended up with this picture frame that sits behind me. Recently, Wade was super nice. I was going through like kind of a hard time and he sent me this book. It was so nice and he got it off Amazon. So. Another book that I wanna mention is In the Company of Women. This is another coffee table book that my roommate gave me for my birthday one year. The thing that I like about this so much and the reason that she got it for me is because it has the founder of Rifle Paper Company mentioned in it and that happens to be Anna Bond. I love her stuff. I've done an entire video about things that I love from Rifle Paper Company. If you haven't guessed by this YouTube channel or different side gigs or whatever that I have, I really do feel like deep down I'm an entrepreneurial person. Sometimes I get a little stressed out in like my daily corporate job because I'm still working for the man, you know? And I think that my dream one day is to definitely work for myself. I think a lot of people have that same dream. She recognizes that in me and so she got me this and she was like, this is an entire book of people who have done what you want to do. It was just an extremely thoughtful gift and it just really resonated with me and it has a lot of beautiful pictures about what these people People do it has different interviews with them what their businesses are that they started so if you are somebody like me that shares similar interests or maybe you have a friend that would enjoy something like this this is a really great gift so the last book that I want to highlight in this section of the video happens to be my illustrated Harry Potter books now again, this could you could say this is another coffee table book because I definitely do intend to use them for that because they're absolutely gorgeous. But I've actually read the whole Harry Potter series a couple of times. I absolutely love it. And these are my go-to gifts for all of my friends having babies. These are all absolutely beautifully illustrated by Jim K. Like here's the Hogwarts Express. This is the same picture that's on the cover. And what's really neat about these books is that they are unabridged. So even though they're filled with these beautiful illustrations and there's fewer words per page. These are the full length Harry Potter books just in this beautiful, gorgeous, coffee table-esque collectible form. Every time one of my friends has a baby, I start them with the very first book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And then each year after that, I'm gonna gift them the next book in the series. So I'm set for at least like seven years of gifts for all of these people that have babies. So when these do get a little bit cheaper on Amazon, I tend to scoop up a couple of them since I am gifting them all the time. It's just the season for my friends to start having babies. All right, so the next category that I wanna highlight a couple of items from is my home category. And this is gonna be weird because it's actually this mirror behind me, so I'm not actually holding it. I cannot seem to find it anywhere. I purchased this exact one from Target about five years ago, but I did find a couple of alternatives on Amazon, and so I've linked two of them into my storefront. They're still a geometric shape. They have a round center. They still have kind of the gold rusty accents that this one has. This mirror is a great statement piece. I think it's so easy to match things with, and it's just simple. You put one thing up on the wall, and it kind of looks like you did something with the space. So for all of you, that I've asked, I seriously have comments on probably 20 of my videos asking where I got the, the mirror. So I'm really glad to have found some dupes for you, especially on Amazon, because that's really accessible for a lot of people. And the next product that I wanna mention is a little bit of a splurge. This is my Vitruvi essential oil diffuser. Now, when I was first getting into the essential oil game, I was trying to do my research and understand how these things worked. And I was really debating on getting some cheaper options on Amazon. Cause I know a lot of you are thinking I'm crazy cause you're looking up the price of this sucker right now. And you're like, like, how on earth could you spend $120 on an essential oil diffuser when there are great ones for under $20? And I agree, there are some good ones out there. Some of the cheaper ones are a lot harder to clean. They use heat to actually diffuse the oils. And a cool thing about this one is that it actually doesn't use heat. It uses vibrations that actually make the oils come out and diffuse through that little smoke that you see. And so cleaning this thing is a breeze. You just wipe it out each time and there's nothing caked on. The oils don't get goopy. I think that it looks beautiful. It's just a very chic little white essential oil diffuser. When it is plugged in, this little area around the bottom here lights up in just one white light. I knew I didn't want one that changed all the crazy colors. And so I just decided to splurge. I do think that I've gotten my money's worth. I use this thing almost every single day. There are a bunch of other alternatives on Amazon and I'll be sure to add a couple that have really good reviews to my storefront for you, just in case maybe you're not ready to make this splurge. Know that this one does also come in a black and it is ceramic. And the last home item that I wanna feature is actually this jewelry stand. So I know you're probably thinking, Maggie, there's nothing super special about that jewelry stand, but it's all in the details. And truly since I've gotten this, I've never wanted for anything different. 
So I love that it has three different tiers. You obviously have a tall tier, middle tier, and low tier. The tall one is where I typically store all of my necklaces because those are the longest. And then on the middle and lower tiers, I typically reserve those for my earrings. Now there are a lot of jewelry stands that are similar out there. And a lot of times they're made with just thick metal bars that are spaced out pretty similarly to that one. But the thing that makes this one so useful is that it actually has dual skinny metal bars that allow you to hang your earrings on those tiers. And so none of my earrings have to sit down below and get all mixed up in the bottom part. So this actually comes from the brand Umbra. I ordered mine off Amazon. I really, really cannot recommend this enough. And maybe you have a friend that's going off to college or if you're looking for a gift for one of your friends, I think this is so useful so useful now it's not gonna be great for those of you that have drawers and drawers and drawers of jewelry I don't have that much I have a decent amount everything that I own fits on this stand right here highly recommend this jewelry stand and the last category that I want to feature is travel and I actually have a million items linked in this storefront but the reason I'm not mentioning a lot of it in this video is that I plan to do an entire video related to my travel essentials I filmed a similar video a while back but it's time for an update I found new things that I absolutely absolutely love that I can't live without. And one thing that I wanted to call attention to in this Amazon video was this backpack. This is by the brand Solo New York and I featured it a lot in my packing videos. I just love its functionality. I think that it distributes weight on your back so well. It slides on to the handles of your luggage and it opens up just like a normal suitcase. So I feel like you can fit so much more in it than you can in a normal backpack. It still has pockets that are super functional on the plane if you just want to reach in and pull something out which is also nice. You're not losing regular functionality. You don't always have to open it like a suitcase. And I also like that it doesn't have a whole lot of outside pockets because when I'm traveling, I do get nervous about things being on my back. So there's one hidden pocket here at the bottom that just looks kind of like weird lining, but it's actually a zipper pocket that opens. And in this pocket, I'll typically keep like hand wipes or things that I want to quick access when I'm on the go. This has been to Croatia and to Greece and to Disney World so far. It still looks absolutely brand new and I have put this thing through the ringer. I think it costs somewhere around 60 to $70, which I think is extremely reasonable for something that's going to get so much use, at least for me. And that is everything. I do have a couple of other categories on my storefront that you can feel free to go check out. These were just the top tier items that I really, really wanted to draw your attention to. Now, one thing that I do want to note is that if you do go visit my storefront and you click on an item and purchase it, I do get a little bit of a kickback. So if you're not comfortable with that, feel free to just browse the storefront and then go buy it in another browser or something. But if you do want to support my channel, then every little bit counts. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it was informative. If you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.